major factor in the scouting report and he's one of the main guys we focus on. Uh, he's a top five prospect. He's a very good ball player. And uh, I went out there and did it with the help of my teammates. Brian Williams came off the bench. He helped me out uh, on the duty. Uh, sometimes I got screened. Other guys like LB stepped up and helped. Uh, it was a team effort out there. How tough is this one to swallow? very tough. Uh, we had a lot of opportunities. Uh, it's real tough, but we can't sit here and dwell on it. We got to move on. It's the Big 12. Uh, long game, get our rest, and get ready for Saturday. Marcus, was that about as physical a game as you played? Uh, no, nah, not really. You know, I played in phys more physical games. You know, uh, you know, I like it. I mean, that's the type of game I play. I'm a very physical person. So, you know, that game wasn't really as physical as I expected it to be. I'm a little banged up here and there, but I mean, it's not the first time I've been banged up. It probably won't be the last, you know, um, get in the training room, ice, and uh, get treatment and take care of it and get ready for Saturday. The better you are, how difficult was it not being out there for that, that final play? Oh, it was definitely difficult, you know. I feel like I let my teammates down, you know. Uh, you know, I wish I was out there to uh, save that moment with them. Um, help them out and uh, contribute in a way that I usually do, but unfortunately that didn't work out this way this time. Marcus, you had a drive at the end of the first overtime. The game was tied and it just looked like it kicked out. Did you feel like you had that one down? I felt like it was down, you know, but sometimes it's just how, that's just how the thing goes, you know, it doesn't go your way. You know, you just have those type of nights and that's what it was tonight. I mean, you know, I'm not going to dwell on it, you know, uh, I'm just come out and uh, keep doing what I always do Saturday and, uh, you know, contribute to this team and help my teammates better. Michael, I'm going to guess similar to, to Marcus. There's probably a lot of frustration that you weren't there at the end. Uh, definitely, you know, uh, I feel like, uh, like Marcus let my team down. And uh, if we were in there, we could have been some changing plays that uh, would have went the other way for us. I mean, to come out with a win. Michael, how do you go about regrouping from this tough loss? Uh, you know, it's about maturity. You know, uh, can't sit and just sulk about it, but you also don't want to forget it either. Uh, let it be in the back of your mind to fuel you for the next game. And I believe our, our team is mature enough to do that, and so we're ready for our next one to learn from this one. Markel, what was going through your mind when Marcus Smart uh, got out there with a couple minutes left in that second time? Oh. Marcus is a, a big key to this, this to this team. So once he fouled out, I was like, I was shoot, like, we need Marcus out there. He he brings the toughness <coughs> out there. Uh, he gets stops out there. No matter if he's shooting bad for that night, he still can make that big time play for you. So we needed him out there. And if we would have had him out there, it probably would have been a different look on it. Marcus, Michael, you guys could both see, you know, you were watching the game at the end, you know, unfortunately for you. You were able to see Phil's defensive job on, on Dark, and even Phil Self came in and said, hey, the kid played well defensively, you know, you just got to give credit to, to Tharp. Your, your thoughts watching that last sequence? Oh, uh, definitely, you know, uh, Phil's playing great defense, though, you know, the whole game on him, you know. Dude just went in, made a tough shot, you know, there's nothing you could do about it. You know, um, he had his hand up, made him shoot over him, uh, contested shot. You know, much credit goes to Tharp for hitting it, you know. Like I said, Phil played, he played his butt off, you know, played his heart off. He did everything that he was supposed to do. He stopped him uh, and made him take a tough shot. Right. Markell, is this one of those games that you almost think, how can we lose this? I mean, because there were so many swings back and forth. And like you said, you guys had a lot of opportunities. Is it one of those things where you almost don't believe you lost? Uh, yeah, we like you said, we had a lot of opportunities out there. Um, gave up a couple offensive rebounds, missed a couple free throws here and there, had some bad fouls at the end. Um, it's a hard pill to swallow. And, uh, I felt like this game could have went any, either way. Uh, double overtime game. No, it was a it was a tough one out there. You guys have been 
your three of eight from the line in, in both overtimes. Is it something you kind of look back on as a team? Uh, yeah. Uh, you you look back on it and and you move on from it. Uh, free throws free throws count. Uh, we make our free throws, we win. So that's something that we got to go in to the next practice, work on that, and hopefully we won't. Hope and when we be in that situation again, hopefully we won't miss those free throws. Marcus, you guys had a chance to, to take command of the, the Big 12 Conference a little bit, and Kansas has had such a great stranglehold on the league for a long time. Is that the most frustrating part that you came this close, uh, you know, to beat them twice and, and just couldn't make a player or two there at the end to, to beat them? Uh, I, you could say that. I mean, <clears throat> we were just focusing on one game at a time. You know, definitely we, we knew that uh, what was at stake with the Big 12. Um, you know, you're right, Kansas has held a little hold on it for a couple of years now. Uh, but, yeah, it was a little frustrating knowing that. But, I mean, like I said, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, you just go out there and play, and uh, you can't really control the outcome. You just go out there and have fun and play your heart out. Is it too late? No. no. Okay. No. All right. We still going to go go into practice. Practice like we're the number one team in this Big 12 league. And uh, we still fight for the number one spot. It's not, it's not too late. Marco, how disappointed is it for the for you guys to have to be able to deliver for the fans who came out for the second straight game to, to really bring the rowdy back? Uh, it's very disappointing. Uh, I just hope they stay behind us on this. It was a great crowd out there tonight. And, uh, I hope they had fun, even though we didn't it didn't go our way. I hope they had fun. And I hope they say that this team is ready, ready to win. And I hope they come out and support us. Are you guys looking forward to having another shot at KU, possibly, in the Big 12 tournament game? Oh, definitely. definitely. You know, uh, can't wait for it, you know. Uh, you know we're going to be ready just like just like we were tonight, you know. Going to go out there and play just as hard as we did, you know, and just go out there and have fun. We definitely we definitely uh, can't wait for another shot up. Obviously, it's a physically exhausting game, but how much mental exhaustion do you guys go with a game so close back and forth the entire night? Uh, I mean, you know, it, you just got to be mentally tough with that, you know. Uh, a lot of players can get down because you see in the lead change like that. You're up one, you're down one, down three, and then you finally fight back. And it's just changing like that. It can be tough on a, a kid's mind like that. But, you know, that's, that's where um, all that adversity that you go through came in and comes in. You know, just stay focused and don't let it bother you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Guys. No problem.